Hey guys, Q here, and this is going to be the sixth day, that's six, for the 12 days of Christmas. That's right guys, we're halfway through this, and I uh, hope you've been enjoying it so far. I've been having a blast with this, and uh, <clears throat> this has really been fun. Um, the film that I'm doing today is called Holiday Hell, and it is a 2019 film. It is a horror anthology film and a first watch for me. Uh, the directors are David Burns, Jeff Farrell, Jeff Vigil, and Jeremy Berg. And I do apologize if I butchered names. Uh, the actors in this is Jeffrey Combs. That's right. Mr. Reanimator himself. Uh, he plays the shopkeeper. Uh, Joel Murray is in this. Amber Stonebreaker... Elisa Marshall, Jeff D. Davis, Lisa Carnado, and so many more. Uh, the music score was quite decent at times, and um, it had a decent uh, Christmas overtone <clears throat> for the Christmassy parts. Now, the overview for this is a mysterious shopkeeper narrates four horror tales, each set during the holidays. And, uh, guys, what tales they are. Uh, I have two favorites in, in this. And, uh, basically those are going to be my likes. Well, my likes for this film basically is, it's an anthology. I love anthology films. Um, Jeffrey Combs. Again, I love Jeffrey Combs. I love him in everything. Uh, the Reanimator, uh, all of the Reanimator films. Castle Freak. Uh, you know... You name it that he's in it, I love watching. So he helps with the film, big time. Uh, two of the stories, one called Christmas Carnage, I really enjoyed. Um, about uh, one guy, he's just getting nagged all the time by his wife and stuff. And the poor guy does everything to try to please her. He quit drinking, he quit smoking, he quit hanging out with the friends she didn't like. He quit watching shows she didn't like. He just... He's doing everything he has to do to keep her happy, and she's not happy. And he's trying to, you know, uh, uh, just basically be with his wife at night. And she doesn't want to be with him, you know. So uh, you can basically see that. And they do have a kid together, and she keeps sending the kid to either wake up the father or whatever. She doesn't even talk to the poor guy. And uh, either way, uh, it turns out that he drank a year uh, ago on Christmas, and it's been one whole year now, it is Christmas Day, they're supposed to go to a party, an office party where they work, and uh, the wife doesn't want him to drink, and uh, either way, uh, he plays Santa there at the party, and um, he, uh, one of the office women there end up flirting with Santa, and the wife sees this, so she ends up grabbing a guy that just recently took the job promotion that her husband was supposed to get and uh, ends up screwing this guy and and uh, the Santa Claus dude walks in on her screwing this guy so where does he go? he hits the bar guys and uh, he ends up having a few drinks and he ends up getting kicked out of the bar because oh one thing I almost forgot as he's having these drinks, he's popping some pills. Uh, they don't exactly say what type of pills they are, but he's popping pills as well. And uh, he ends up uh, really start acting up, being very drunk type thing, and gets kicked out of the bar. Uh, he ends up going back to the office where all hell breaks loose, guys, I'm telling you. And um, I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to ruin it, but I think you guys would like the rest of that story. Uh, the other one is called The Hand That Rocks the Dreidel, and uh, I really did enjoy this one. Uh, this um, Jewish family type thing, uh, just a boy and his parents. Uh, his parents want to go on a vacation type thing for the weekend, and they get him a gift. And um, <clears throat> the gift is supposed to basically just uh, just help him out over the weekend until the parents come back. 
And when he opens up the box, he sees that it is a wooden rabbi doll. And um, it comes with a, a parchment of paper with the uh, words on it and whatnot. So, either way, I'm pretty sure it's Hebrew words. And um, what happens is that they call in the babysitter and the parents leave. So during the night, the babysitter ends up calling up her boyfriend, who turns out to be uh, just a criminal of sorts, and so does she. Uh, she says she has the keys for every room in the house, and they got a lot of valuables, and they want to take those valuables, sell them off, and get the money for it, and just take off from the town and go live greatly, type thing. And um, the boy overhears this, and kind of freaks out and kind of locks himself in the room and what happens is that uh, he ends up grabbing the parchment of paper that came with his rabbi doll and he reads it out loud and his rabbi doll comes to life so the boy asks the rabbi doll for help and does the rabbi doll ever help him Holy smokes, what he does. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It was very well done. Um, kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Robert the Doll slash Child's Play type deal uh, and slash Puppet Master. Uh, it was very good. I enjoyed it. Uh, those were my two favorite stories and uh, out of the little tales that they had. And the main story, the ending of the main story out of this anthology was quite a blast too. So I really quite enjoyed this. Uh, the dislikes, guys, I have none really. I just love anthology films. I, I just, I never seem to have a dislike for an anthology film. I uh, just, I don't. Even the, the really bad stories in it or the stories that I kind of not care for, I still seem to like more than dislike. And uh, do I recommend this? Oh, hells yes, guys. Check it out anthology film, a horror anthology, about the holidays, uh, Jeffrey Combs, and come on guys, you can't go wrong with that. I think it's just fantastic. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave this review here, and I'd like to give a shout out to Horrific Nightmares JM, Jason Brother, this is a blast, we're halfway through this, and I am having a hell of a time, man. Like, I'm just my brain's going like wow so many different movies uh, that I haven't seen before and am happy to start watching and reviewing I just I'm having a good time with this all around and uh, this is a very awesome thing you created and I'm glad to be part of it and um, make sure to check out everyone else doing the 12 days of Christmas guys they are picking some awesome awesome titles and doing some awesome reviews as well with them and um, I just I enjoy watching. I do apologize to everyone if I haven't gotten to your videos yet. Um, I just, I can't do too, too much. But uh, you know what I mean. But uh, I promise, guys, I will try to get to your videos. So either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And of course, there will be a trailer at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh Take care, guys. Ciao. I know it's really last minute with tomorrow being Christmas Eve and all, but I was hoping to find a present for my sister. All of the objects in the shop have a storyline. If they don't have a story, I will not sell them. Sir. <laughs>